as a sensitive empath, highly sensitive person, you have the full permission and it is your, your duty, your divine duty to take care of yourself. And that includes having clear, firm, strict boundaries with people. Because there are many people out there who do not value your kindness and your sensitivity and, <clears throat> and it is not your fault and you, ha you must not blame yourself for that and you must not carry that energy be within you because it's not yours and it's not healthy for you. So you need to be releasing this energy daily and, you know, always take care of your energy, always take care of your health. Always put your self-care first. That includes your firm and strict boundaries, clear boundaries. This is just coming to me today because I have been in these situations so many million times in my life that I need to talk about it and it feels so good to get these messages out to you. Because this is important guidance. And so... You know, it's important to remember that the devil within that person is resisting the God within you. You have God within you. So you are in the right place, doing the right thing when you're being you. And this person gets triggered. Like I've been saying, they have this demonic energy within them and they get triggered. They don't like you because you have this beautiful, loving, kind sensitive vibe and energy high vibe energy within you which they don't have all they do is hurt you and put you down in different ways they have many many tricks that they try to play on you and maybe you feel like they have won but you don't need to let them win you can always claim your power back and choose god tune in and connect with source, with God, with the universe, with all the love that is always there for you to access. It's always there. You are so loved and guided, but you have to surrender. You have to surrender to God so that God can really help you and get through. And this is a big lesson to learn as well, because it's not something that you might realize if you have not been taught this you know the devil and its demons will always love to attack your feelings but god will always want you to be safe your angels want you to be safe universe want you, wants you to be safe they all want you only in love and light and peace and safety and tr tranquility and harmony and serenity and happiness and joy and all those amazing things into your life that you deserve, that you are here for. We are all born into this world to do good things and to thrive and, and you know, to learn and grow, yes, and go through things. But in the end, we are here to be just, you know, happy. And the devil naturally does not want that for anybody because it's selfish and it just collects souls. So as soon as you understand and believe this and own this truth, the easier your life is becoming. It starts to become a lot easier when you can surrender all your worries and fears and insecurities and self-blame and all of that because it's from these toxic people it's not from you it's not from god it's not meant to be in your life you've gone through this yes but you are the alchemist who has the power of god the light of god within you and so you just need to be turning it all into positive you know positive energy to be able to win and it's it's not coming from ego it's coming from love that win is coming from authentic love because it's from god evil <clears throat> does not want you to be yourself evil does not want you to have your healthy boundaries or anything not not of you know none of your self-care practices you know 
none of that but you have to stick the stick to them anyway especially if you want to heal after narcissistic abuse experiences this is important it's an important part of the whole healing process that you start to learn your boundaries no matter how slow slow the progress is but as long as you're doing it anyway you're starting to do it every day and it gets easier the more you do it you practice it regularly so your life will become a lot easier and if you need more help get in touch book a call with me and chat and just one more tip uh if you choose to pray every day which i recommend it doesn't matter even if you're coming from an anxious place i remember this woman once saying to me when I was really in panic and pain and stress and all of that and I was looking for help and assistance so she made it worse by saying to me that she is picking up that there is anxiety when I pray well of course there was and in that place I had to understand myself that I allow myself to feel this way because these are my normal natural feelings as a human being as a sensitive empath earth, earth, earth angel starseed that i am i had to allow myself to feel what i felt because i feel this strong message coming through god right now that god wants to tell you to pray daily don't forget to pray daily it's it's like you know, it's self-care. It's it's cleansing your mind, your body, your spirit, your higher self, you know, because you are a spirit in a human body. You are a spiritual being. So, you know, getting closer to God and, and doing the daily practice, it's self-care in itself. And it's cultivating that peace and calm and love energy. So the more, of course, that you do it, you become more calm and peaceful, you know, and you are in stillness. But please forgive yourself if you are experiencing deep anxiety right now when you pray.